That was weird. Yo, what's up everybody? It's us here. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Minions. Let's get this show on the road, I guess. Evolving from single-celled yellow organism to the dawn of time, Minions live to serve, but find themselves working for a continual series of unsuccessful masters, from T-Rex to Napoleon. Without a master to grovel for, the Minions fall into deep depression. But one Minion, Kevin, has a plan. Accompanied by his pal Stuart and Bob, Kevin sets forth to find a new evil boss for his brethren to follow. Their search leads them to Scarlet Overkill, played by Sandra Bullock, the world's first ever super villainess, who without a doubt is one of the only best characters in this movie so far. But let me discuss the movie's achievements before I get into the negatives. First off, the animation, top notch solid. For example, the way they executed the landscapes felt realistic. The water, the trees, the gravity, you name it. So is the voice acting. Sandra Bullock did a phenomenal job as the voice of Scarlet Overkill, which by the way is a very menacing name to call a villain, not gonna lie. But the story and execution? Eh, it just didn't work for me when I first watched it. I thought I was going to experience some nostalgia to it, although there are some bits and pieces of it. But other than that, then I realized the magic's just tiny sparks of it. The minions themselves don't have any weight to them. All they do is just speak in fluent Spanish and minionese and do all the same toddler felt slapstick goofiness that are not entertaining for us adults whatsoever. However, there are a few comedic parts where I cannot keep a straight face and have the urge to laugh out loud though. Anyways, the character development and articulation is the real problem here. So you see all the minions, right? Spoiler alert, in the opening credits, how are they little plankton type creatures and then turn into minions as they come out of the water the second the movie started? Just doesn't make sense to me. Also, the plot is kind of cliche as the critics said it was. The only goal is to steal the crown of the Queen of England. That's it. Not enough oomph to it. In the end, to top it all off, it was an okay movie. A few jokes landed in a couple scenarios somehow, but other than that, I rate Minions 3 out of 5 stars. One more thing. I'm glad Gru made an appearance somewhere in this movie, but I want more of him. Wait a minute. That will happen in Despicable Me 2 sooner down the line. Stay tuned. So Minions, have you seen it? If you haven't, let me know in the comments what's your favorite from the Despicable Me franchise. But if you have, come back and let me know what you thought about it. Also, if you like this video and you want to see some more, make sure that like button shines in your face. That'll totally help me out a ton. Also, share that video with your family and friends and favorite it. That's a very good way to show support for that review. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out.